Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland Hartmann from Graphic in Motion. In this tutorial I will show you how to customize my modern Christmas greetings template. And as you probably saw in the preview video, we have a landscape appearing and then some trees are popping out of the, of the floor here of our snowy hills. And then finally a main big Christmas tree is popping out and this ribbon is fading on and in the end we have this in my case my logo which is appearing and is more or less forming our Christmas star and of course you can change all these elements and this is what I want to show you how you can change this and set it up really easy so a few simple steps first of all we will go to the setup composition I want to start in the setup composition this time when you open up this composition, you will see that you have only two layers visible here. And we will just deal with the first one. So the first one is a color setup control. And you see that we have a bunch of color controls here. And we also have two additional controls. And I want to explain these at first. Because if you say, I do not have a logo because I don't want to use it as a, a corporate Christmas greetings, but as a personal Christmas greeting card, then of course you do not need to enter a logo. You can just simply use the logo on off function to disable it. So let's just uncheck this checkbox here and you see the logo is disappearing. But in case you do not have a logo, you can use the star on off checkbox because I just integrated a more or less standard Christmas star, something like a snowflake, you know, to form our Christmas star. So you can use this one. Okay, but for now, let's say I want to do a corporate Christmas greetings card and therefore I will just enable my logo again. And now I, of course, want to replace my logo with something else. So let's move to the logo composition and then import through import and import file a new logo. In this case, I will use the Envato logo just as an example here. And I will just drag it on top of my placeholder and really quickly reposition it. In this case, I only want to use the logo and not the text. So let's change the anchor point for a moment. So just that I can position and scale it a little bit better and scale it down a bit like so. I will just enable my title action safe area just to position it. And something like this looks really good. Okay, and now I disable my background logo or my placeholder and I will just go to my setup to check the result. And now you see we have the Envato logo in here. Very nice. So the next step we want to do is to edit our text here. So this is also very simple. You see that we have a text layer visible in our setup composition. So you just double click this text layer and now you can enter your text. So you can change, of course, the Christmas greetings. You can also change this text down here. And in my case, I just want to change the name because now it's a Christmas greeting from Envato. Okay. And of course, I want to change the colors because Envato is using the green as their corporate ID color. So I will just move back to my logo comp for a moment. And actually, let's go back to the setup and choose the color setup first, you know. And now I can lock it inside the effect controls panel up here. And when I go back now to my logo composition, my effect controls will stay and I have all the color swatches here. So I will take the color picker tool and just pick the color from the logo. And this is only my starting point to create a background color. So let's go back to our setup controls and now I can unlock it. And you see that I have two background color controls and one text color control. And the first background color control is the color in the middle and the second one is the color on the edges here so I want to take over this color for now and now I just will change this and I want to make it let's say kind of a darker version of this color like so and now I will just take the same color as here for my text and I think that this looks pretty good I could also make it a little bit darker maybe so to create a little bit more contrast and this is it. Now I could move on, enter my audio and render out the whole thing. So to enter your audio, 
it's basically the same as always. You just move to import file, then choose your audio track and then just drag it into the audio composition and then you can go to the render composition and render it out. Uh, one more hint, uh, I added a simple color correction layer inside the render composition. So you see that there is only a curves adjustment on this layer. And if you disable it, you see that it just adds a little bit more contrast. But you can of course use it to create your own look. So you can increase the greens, decrease the greens, or in our case, maybe add a little bit of a blue to give it a completely other look. You can just play around here and create your own style. But I'm satisfied as it is and now you can render it out and you are done. So very simple, fast to use and it's also a quick render. So now I want to give you one more hint about a little bit, uh, let's say, uh, more in-depth customization. So maybe you say, okay, I, I like the graphical style of this tree, not so much. So you want to change something here, maybe. That's also possible, of course. So you only have to move to the setup composition. And then you see this little shy guy here hiding behind the wall. This is the hide alls button and you just click it. And by clicking this guy, you see that a few more layers pop up here. And this is basically the whole setup. This is the whole animation, you know. And now you can enter every layer and itself and change whatever you want. So let's say you want to change the Christmas tree. You say, you know, this, this little uh, uh, fella here, which should be kind of a, a cookie guy, you know, you don't want him in there or whatever. So you can go to our Christmas tree main composition. And of course you can enter all these comps through our compositions folder here. You will find all of these here too, but it's maybe better to work inside the setup composition because then you have a better overview about what you are doing. So let's enter the Christmas tree main composition by double clicking it. And now you see that we have a bunch of layers, actually really a lot of layers here because these are all these elements in visible on our tree. And as I said, if you do not like the cookie man, here it is, you see, okay, we have him. He's actually five times on our tree. And if you disable him here, then you see now you have some space, some free space, and you could fill it up with whatever you want. Maybe you want to put in your logo. Maybe you want to put in, I don't know, a picture of your head, whatever, you know. So this is just a hint for people who really want to change the look of this template. And if you change the main Christmas tree, the only tree that will change is the main one. And if you want to change the look of the Christmas trees in the back here, you would have to enter our Christmas tree composition, this one right here. So we have Christmas tree main, that's the one in the foreground, and the Christmas tree back, or the Christmas tree composition uh, represents all the Christmas trees in the back. So if you want to change something here, then enter this composition too and do your changes. So this is it. I hope that you like this template and that you use it to create some really nice Christmas greetings for your family, your friends or for some customers. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to really see you soon. Goodbye.